Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. This is episode 12. Even dozen. Ah, uh, so this is, you know, this is our little portal room, portal hub, whatever you want to call it. Um, haven't made too many changes, but there is this over here. Where does this go? So, uh, Risk, you know, when he was trying to build his little portals up in the sky. I told him to build one, go in the nether, dig all the way up to the bedrock and build a portal up there. And I thought maybe we might be able to get it to link, you know, two different spots. Um, he started digging up and, um, oh, spoiler alert. He started digging up and uh, he didn't get very far. But I, I took his and I kept digging up because I wanted to do this. What is this? It's a hole in the bedrock. Oh my gosh. So I did the ender pearl thing to get up to the uh, above the bedrock here. And then I went and uh, I used the, the dark oak sapling trick. Plenty of... Uh, Plenty of videos on YouTube describing how to do that. I can I can do a little demonstration at some later time if people really want to see it. But there's plenty of resources, and uh, basically you you lay down some dirt, you plant uh, dark oak saplings, bone meal them up. They'll grow a big tree. You take out the bottom row of the of the um, uh, of the tree, plant more saplings, bone meal them. And because they're blocked growing up, sometimes they will grow down. And where the branches are out to the side of the tree, they will actually replace whatever blocks are there, including bedrock. Which is a bit of a, you know, I'm sure that's not entirely intentional. Um, but, you know, it's probably considered a bug, but it's been in the game for a long time. And up here is a convenient place. Oh, look, there's gold laying on the ground. Because I started building a gold farm. And, uh... I think Vex is up there. I can't tell. Um, so let me show you, uh... Show you my design. H? What does H mean? <laughs> No, oh, it's right next to the Y key. Okay, so let me um, let me show you my little build design here. Uh, so you need a few things. That's where all my hoppers went, so I didn't have any from before. Um, so you need you need a few things. Uh, let's grab some of that. Need some of that, we need some of that, we need some of that, we need some of that. Okay, so basically, this is a, a tileable layer design. You need some sort of blocks that pistons can't move. I ended up using note blocks. I started out with obsidian, played around with the idea of furnaces. Uh, note blocks seem to me to be the cheapest. And you need about, you need a little over two stacks it's not quite two and a half stacks per layer. They don't all have to be no plot. They don't have have to be immovable. And there are some optional ones, but I I leave them there because they they make life easier. You need fifty slime blocks, twenty four forty eight slime blocks per layer. You need forty eight forty eight string, um, a couple of ladders. You need eight slabs you need 50 trap doors it's the other somewhat expensive part did i grab any trap doors yeah i got some right there and um i and you need a little bit of redstone uh three times four so 12 redstone you need a couple of ladders you need four tripwire hooks and i like using you need four sticky pistons and i like using redstone lamps um it's optional but let me let me do a little thing here uh, 
Okay, so uh, Vex is over. Uh, I have a little high Y uh, bird, crow's nest little area over there off to the side where you can go stand and it uh, it uh, minimizes or eliminates spawns below the bedrock and uh, helps maximize spawns over here. Why is this all bright? Okay, so that is really weird. Let's see. Anyway, okay. So here's it's a pretty minimal design, actually. Pretty typical pusher design, but instead of using a whole mess of pistons, I decided to use slime blocks to push uh, a, a whole area at once. So a piston with slime block can move 12 blocks, right? So I put 12 blocks a spacer and then 12 more so each one here is 24 blocks so that means each layer is 48 48 blocks so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna grab some of these and I'm gonna build a layer just to show you because it's actually pretty simple and quick and uh, you can just build a bunch of them Boop. and I'm gonna do this and we're gonna put a ladder down there and I'll talk you through the design my design thoughts while I'm doing this so no blocks um, no blocks are kind of cool and oh, dang it um, only problem with no blocks boop ah see it fell on the tripwire and it pushed out the slime blocks if that had been a pigman spawning then uh, then it, uh, it would have pushed the pig man down this gap. And I have a, a fall distance set up. The lowest layer is at a place where um, it will kill a pig man instantly. Oops. That, and that's the only problem with using slime blocks is that you have to ship, you have to shift click them Otherwise, you end up, uh, you know, essentially changing their note. And not and. But one of the cool things is they do make noise. So these ones out here won't do anything because they make noise when they get a redstone signal. So. Boop. Okay. So one layer here. This is twenty-five long and two wide and I'm going to place in another the other side here oops um, and every time you, you touch them like that it changes their note but by using these oh and when I'm placing the the spawning platforms in I, I mark off one uh, the back one in the center Oops, going too fast. Uh, and I do that so I keep track of it. This is technically an optional block. It doesn't need to be there. I'm gonna, we're going to put one above it. So we don't have to worry about things spawning back here. Um, but I just like putting it in and leaving them there because it's uh, it just makes the building process easier. Okay, and then we're going to take some trap doors here. And we're going to just put in trapdoors. Uh, so, yeah, when you're placing things like this or placing blocks next to it, you have to hold down the shift key. So it just, uh, that's just the way it goes. Um, so up here, I'm kind of prone to keeping the shift key pressed anyway. Because we're, we're, we're ways up. Okay. Oop. Now we're going to leave these open for the moment. Um, and I'll show you why. Or it should be obvious. But now, once I get these in, boop, then uh, we have a 6x50 platform up here. What's going on there? Okay. 
Uh, we have a we have a six by six by fifty platform up here, which is pretty safe to walk around on. So I'm not. Uh, we will close them before we're done. And the reason I'm putting these here, it's not for safety purposes. It's because I get, you'll see with the design, baby zombie pigmen will spawn in these underneath the retracted row of slime blocks or here on where the tripwire is going to go. And they just screw everything up. Uh, so they um they don't get pushed by the the slime block so they just kind of hang out there which is fine um but with these chap doors okay that wasn't what i was trying to do okay with these trap doors here um they view these as as full blocks and they feel safe walking on them. So if they get the desire to sort of walk this direction, it seems to make it more, they're more prone to do it. They will walk off at edges anyway, but um, it seems to make them more prone to do it. So they walk off and they fall down and it releases the, the pistons. Okay, so redstone lamps. Now we do the corners. Redstone lamps. So this redstone down here which powers the piston um you you shift and right click and my uh note block there despawn and you put um you put the redstone lamp right there and this this serves as a visual indicator when a when a layer triggers and then i'm going to put in two slabs here the slabs are so that nothing can spawn on these two spots i don't know that they will with the redstone there anyway but just to be safe it also gives a solid surface for these two note blocks and the cool thing about that so i put the two here i put one here next to the uh the redstone lamp there's only one space here above the piston so nothing can spawn there and then i put one on top of the redstone lamp here I'm going to get my sticky pistons and I'm going to place one right here and then I'm going to get some redstone just redstone dust and I'm going to place it on this block this block and this block so when we put the tripwire hook in here and the and this string when this trip our hook triggers it will power that redstone lamp and this piston which will then push all this slime out yeah so i'm just going to place all this hey that wasn't nice okay so Having this block here tells me where I need to stop placing the slime. I'm going to place a note block on top of that. I'm going to go do the corner setup here. So let me grab that, that, and right. So we go boop, and we put uh, our slabs here. And we put our note blocks. And pop, grab our redstone, put it there, there, and there, and then go put up sticky piston. All right, and then we oops, grab our slime, boop. Now that gas you're hearing is actually down below the bedrock. Jeez. Um, it's it's kind of disconcerting, but we're totally fine. They will spawn up here if you leave the layer up top the way I have here, which is not good. Um, 
when I get done building as many layers as I want, I am then going to, thank you. Um, I am then going to half slab the whole top of the farm so that we can't get any ghasts spawning up here because they're kind of scary and they kind of make everything, um, it's not good. You don't want them shooting at the farm or shooting at you or whatever. All right, so we get uh, this and this. We put up this. So the biggest cost on this farm really is getting all the wood for the note blocks. So a stack of note blocks, and again, you need two per layer, just over two per layer. Um, oh, and... and Obviously, some of these, like these blocks here, don't need to be immovable. Um, it just, I find it easier if everything in the farm basically is built the same way. You, but you can swap around. Like these guys over here, they're never going to touch the slime blocks. These down here are sitting right on top of the slime blocks below. So these two do need to be immovable. Um, but you can get away with quite a lot of... Uh, quite a lot of the blocks not being immovable blocks if you're sort of concerned about the cost of building the farm. Um, so a, a stack of note blocks requires two stacks of wood blocks plus a... Um, a stack of redstone dust so you just need to you know get mining your or get farming your trees and uh, it works out it, it doesn't take that long to gather that much wood the trapdoors take a bunch more wood so having a good tree farm is kind of kind of necessary for building this but you don't need a lot of iron there's only four pistons per layer, which is pretty good. Uh, and then the redstone hooks, which we will put in now. Having the string, having a string farm is very handy um, in this case. All right, so I'm going to put the redstone hook, or the, I'm sorry, tripwire hook on the side of this block. And then I'm just going to lay down the string. Oops. Pop, 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 pop pop so the other nice thing about using note blocks in this design is when it when the tripwire hooks go um it triggers uh, note blocks so you can actually tune the note blocks around the uh around the pistons and the the farm kind of plays music for you okay so we are not I repeat, not going to put in this tripwire hook because this would arm this side of the layer and we still have work to do here and uh, it's too dangerous. So uh, we will save that to, for the very last step, arming the farm while we're standing up on the ledge there. So yeah, okay. The rest of the string so having the string farm is very handy for this because it's the one thing you can't just run around and uh, naturally uh, you know you can't grow it and killing that many spiders that you find out in, in the real world uh, could take a while so now we basically this layer is now done except for the two trip bar hooks over there I'm going to double check to make sure I placed my redstone and everything looks fine from here so I'm going to come along here I'm going to open up the, the trap doors. Oops. And when I get to this point, the halfway point, I'm going to put a block here. And I'm going to put a block here. This prevents the, the pigmen from being able to spawn on this block and just standing there and having the red, having the... Uh, the slime just push around them. OK, 
Okay. Now, I'm going to put... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, let me grab ladders. Okay. And then, we put in the redstone hooks right here on the side of this block. And they should click and go straight like that if you've got the wire, the string set up correctly. And if not, you need to go look. Okay, so that's a layer. And again, if, um, if this was going to be the last layer, I would take the slabs and I would place the slab on top of here. So it's at the half slab, like the top slab position on here. And then I'd just lay sl I would just slab the entire top of this thing, basically above all of these blocks. And all the blocks on the side here. But we're not going to do that. So, um, nice. Okay, so let's look at it from out here. <laughs> this is, let me turn this off. Oh, there it goes. So the, the redstone lamps light up when they're pushing. So you can kind of get a, a little indicator that something's going on. And the farther off I go, the better this is going to work. I think we've got 14 layers in here now, so it should go pretty good. There, that's the back side. And there's the bottom couple layers. And if it's one of the layers up here, you have to be fairly close to hear the note blocks. But it plays music, which I think is kind of cool. Come on. The back side of the farm over here, the bottom layer. Um, I, I didn't put the redstone lamps and I need to go do that. So we got a layer that's lit up on the back side there. Oh, see, we got a baby zombie pigman just standing there until he decides to move off. Um, the pistons will extend there and pigman can spawn on the, the spot behind it. And when the baby pigman decides to move or despawns, sometimes they get pushed out the back of the farm. Not that big of a deal, but it is, it does happen. So as we go up the ladder here, uh, the cool thing is, oop, it'll get more and more active like that. Nice. And you will see pigmen spawning on the very top with the slime there. Once we get it slabbed, that won't happen anymore. Is that see like that there's one there okay this layer there's no one there the light is lit over there but it's not lit there and it doesn't look like the piston is extended there's something wrong there huh all right well you see it in action here going pretty good the pigmen that spawn on top of the the slime of course the slabs will prevent that from happening oh and it'll also prevent things like that the magma cube um he will hop around he's it's fine um you will also occasionally see a ghast spawn on the very top of it so we have up here our little crow's nest Oh, and there's Vex. And, uh, yeah, so you can kind of watch it from up here. And there we go. So that's, that's our gold farm. Um, so I'm going to build this up. I don't know how far. I might build it. I might build it all the way up to build limit. It would be a little ridiculous, but that would get us maximum production you could also i could also build another one of these right next to it or on the other side at kind of optimal distance um and uh yeah so we just come up here and and sit for a while and i'm i'm finding uh when i had about nine layers um, it was giving me 
something about 700 gold nuggets. No, that's not helpful, dude, because I don't remember. Um, about 700 gold nuggets per hour. Um, and you can see, oh. Oh, he must have shot a, uh, a ghast above the farm. And you can see occasionally stuff falls on the outside. Is that magma cube still alive? Let me get a few of these little nuggets. So I'm trying to... The reason I built this now is because I want enough gold blocks to build another, um, another beacon, another full beacon. So that's pretty good. Not bad. Um, yeah, just for sitting on your tukas up there. Can't really see it. It's kind of dark, but I do like the fact that it, it plays music for you. Yeah, he's shot a guy. Oh, so so what's going on down here? I've got a I've got an area of hoppers. Um, it's fifty long, two wide. I put half slabs on top of it. Uh, items still suck through the half slabs, but it prevents things from spawning. Before I put the half slabs on, I had a pigman party on the hoppers. Uh, so then they all feed into this chest. I put this guy here. And given oh he took them out, but given how full this thing is getting, just from being up there for you know an hour uh, I'm gonna have to build a storage system so I I kind of went up 28 blocks on the ladder here and then every one and a half blocks I um, I put a ring of half slabs in the top position uh, so this prevents the pigmen from a spawning here and B from falling out so when they fall from the farm so this is like Y28 here, right? Well, it's 28 above the bedrock, so 156. Um, so they have a 28 block drop down to the uh, the hoppers to the killing floor there, and the and then the, these these rings of half slabs, which are nether. I use nether brick because we've got crazy amounts of it, um, and uh, that keeps the fall, the pigmen falling straight down so they don't fall off the platform. The stuff that we find out here is mostly guys falling off the sides for a variety of reasons. Um, and they put ladders up here. So yeah, uh, we can build up to... The crow's nest here is actually the walls of the crow's nest are at build height. It's Y256. So that's... Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's that's the gold farm, uh, and so far it has just for me AFK for a little bit, and and while working on it, uh, it has produced for me sixty nine ingot. Oh, nice! Uh, it's produced for me about two stacks of gold blocks, just under. I'm almost at two stacks. Which is almost enough just from the farm here to build another full beacon. Um, so let me see how many slime blocks I have here. Yep, so. So yeah, so this is, uh, this is it. Gold farm. Thank you. Learn how to type. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to build up this some more. Um. I want to get it to a point where it is raining down pigmen because just because we can. Um, yeah. So I think notice that they're not, even though some of those layers should be 
in spawning distance from while we're standing down here. I think standing here, we're not that far above um, the uh, the rest of the nether. And the... Um, Uh, we're not that far above the rest of the nether, so stuff is spawning down below us. So that's why it gets, it starts getting good when you climb up the ladder. But So I don't think it's ever going to be good and productive right from here. Uh, but climb up, and I think it will be. So, so there we go. That is the gold farm. And, uh, yeah. A little tutorial on how to build each layer. Um, I think that should be enough. I don't think I need to do a separate video tutorial because it's pretty straightforward. Um, but if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And uh, I can do something more specific if, uh, if needed. Where are you going, dude? All right. Whoa. Ha. There we go. It's playing music. Sweet music of dying pigmen. Okay. There we go. I'm going to keep working on this. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Bye.